WarioWare, Inc., Mega Microgames, is a minigame compilation video game for the Game Boy Advance. The debut title in the WarioWare series, the game is about rapid completion of microgames, short minigames given to the player consecutively and with increasing speed per each game complete. Developed by Nintendo R&D 1 and published by Nintendo, the game was inspired by the Sound Bomber mode of Mario Artist, Polygon Studio for the Nintendo 64 DD. The game was produced by Takahira Izushi and directed by Hirofumi Matsuoka. Matsuoka was also the director of Polygon Studio. Mega Microgames, was released in 2003, in Japan in March, in North America and Europe in May and in Australia in June. Upon its release, WarioWare, Inc., Mega Microgames, received critical acclaim, winning GameSpot's Editor's Choice Award and Most Innovative Game Award of 2003, among other awards. The game went on to receive a multiplayer-focused remake called WarioWare, Inc., Mega Party Games, on the GameCube. The game went on to spawn the WarioWare series of video games, which all have the same formula of gameplay as the debut title, with the exception of Game and Wario. Pio and Paper Plane, two bonus minigames that appear in Mega Microgames, were reworked into two full titles for the Nintendo DS and sold as DSiWare as Bird and Beans and Paper Airplane Chase. In addition, some of the microgames featured in Mega Microgames, will also appear in WarioWare Gold. The game has also been re-released through the Virtual Console on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. Gameplay WarioWare's core gameplay principles revolve around the concept of microgames, minigames that must be completed within a demanding time limit. In a stage, microgames are presented to the player consecutively, and as the player keeps playing, the game speeds up, making microgames time limits shorter and forcing the player to complete them faster. If the player completes a microgame, the game moves on to the next one, while if the player fails a microgame, by either losing the game or running out of time, one of four lives will be deducted. If the player loses all four of their lives, the game will end and the player's score the number of microgames played will be saved if it is one of their best three scores. At the end of a set number of microgames, the player must complete a boss stage, a longer microgame without a set time limit. In these microgames, the player has the opportunity to gain a life back if they have lost one. Mega Microgames, has nine stages, each revolving around Wario or one of his associates in a plot scenario. Each stage also has a general theme the microgames present in it pertain to, such as sports or Nintendo classics. In addition to microgames, the player is also able to gain access to additional bonus minigames to play. Mega Microgames contains 213 microgames, split over nine stages, each with different themes and following the story of different characters, all associates of Wario whom are contacted by him to make games for him to sell. The game's story is conveyed through short subtitled cutscenes before and after stages. In addition to microgame stages, the player can unlock remix stages which feature microgames from past stages in it, as well as other bonus stages, which feature all microgames, but change elements like speed or microgame difficulty. The player is also able to gain access to other bonus minigames if they fulfill beat or get a high score in certain main stages. The minigames are typically variations on concepts of existing microgames from main stages, and take the form of both single-player games and multiplayer games. Topic development WarioWare's inception began during the development of Mario Artist, Polygon Studio, a successor to Mario Paint being developed for the Nintendo 64 DD, a game where players could create three-dimensional models and animate them. A feature of Polygon Studio was a mode called Sound Bomber, where the player completes rapid consecutive microgames. This idea would be reused for Mega Microgames. For a full fledged video game, the development team used Post It Notes in order to come up with microgame ideas. Whenever someone had an idea for a microgame, they would write it down on a note and stick it to the director's table. The game became well known around the department, as other members not working on the game gave their ideas as well. Microgames that were too obscene or too Japanese were cut to make sure all people playing could understand the game. As individual programmers coded individual microgames, each microgame has a vastly different art style. At first, the game was developed without the knowledge or consent of Nintendo. A team inside Nintendo R&D 1 came up with the idea and started developing the game for the Game Boy Advance without their manager's knowledge. 
Later, they presented the game to their manager, who said, OK, to the idea. According to Yoshio Sakamoto, Wario was chosen as the game's protagonist as he is always doing stupid things and is really idiotic. The game was re-released on the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console. Topic: Reception. Mega Microgames has won numerous awards and received critical acclaim. It was voted the winner of the Edge Award at the Edinburgh International Games Festival in 2004 by a panel of video games industry members, academics, and journalists. At GameSpot, it was awarded the Editor's Choice Award and was nominated for its Best and Worst of 2003 in the Most Innovative Game category. Reviewers wrote enthusiastically about the game. Jeff Gerstmann from GameSpot gave it a 9.1 out of 10 and praised the game for its portability, being able to play it in short bursts, and being able to return to it again and again. Craig Harris from IGN said that the sheer number of minigames, its simplicity, and replay value made the game original and great, and gave it a 9.0.edge ranked the game number 40 on its list of the 100 best games to play today, stating, almost every minigame is a masterclass in how to instantly captivate with clear goals and a captivating alchemy of sound, image and control. Topic. Remakes and re-releases WarioWare, Inc., Mega Party Games Mega Microgames, was remade for the GameCube as WarioWare, Inc., Mega Party Games, as a more multiplayer-focused game than the original. The game features all of the same microgames as the Game Boy Advance version, but the microgames are set up in competitive environments for two to four players rather than an environment for one player. Topic DSi where two unlockable minigames from this title, Paper Plane and Pio, have been released for the Nintendo DSi's DSi Ware Digital Distribution Service. Paper Plane, G Hiko Ki Kami Hiko Ki, known in North America as Paper Airplane Chase, plays the same as the original title. There are three modes, the first is Endless, which places the player in a randomly generated course, requiring him or her to guide a paper airplane through it as it descends, attempting to get as far down as possible, Time Attack, which places the player in pre-created tracks, requiring them to get down to a certain point as fast as possible, and Race Mode, a two-player competition that is played on one DSi, with one player using the D-pad and the other using the face buttons. There are a total of eight courses in the game. Bird and Beans, Niao to Mame Tori to Mame, known in PAL regions as Pio, features both Pio and Pio 2 from the original GBA version. Both play mostly the same as the original versions, although the play area is now wider. The first requires the player to eat falling beans by shooting Puro's tongue in an upward diagonal direction. If a bean lands on the ground, it destroys part of the floor, limiting how much the player can move Pio. If the player eats a differently colored bean, it will restore one of the blocks, and eating a flashing bean restores many, if not all, lost blocks and destroys all on-screen beans. The further Puro's tongue is extended, the more points are awarded. If a seed lands on Pio, the game ends. In the second game, the player must shoot seeds at the falling beans. More points are awarded when two or more are taken out at the same time. Bird and Beans does not have any additional modes. Topic. Virtual Console In December 2011, Mega Microgames, and nine other Game Boy Advance games were released to Nintendo 3DS Ambassadors, which were users who purchased and registered their 3DS systems prior to a specific date in their home markets. The game was later released on the Wii U Virtual Console on April 3, 2014 in Japan and April 10, 2014 in North America and Europe equals equals notes